Hello Hobo, this is a tutorial on how to use Cheat Engine, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it real quick. So just go to Google, type in Cheat Engine, right here. Then it's usually CheatEngine.org, you click on it, um, let's see, Cheat Engine, and then download the screen button, I already have it, so I don't need it. Go ahead and open it up and then just run it then the icon should six and a half hours later it look like this right here so then you go into st all right let's see um let me see what i have on me real quick okay so i have all this stuff um let me see i'm gonna do that back in there take that Okay, um, I'll show you how to do it on certain items, so I'll show you how to do it on, like, the valuable stuff you can sell, uh, but let me get out. Holy shit, I have a lot of shit. Um, let's see. Let me take some of those, and then, let's see. Where I had, let's see, where is it? You already have it in here? Okay, I'm gonna put these back. Because I don't need all those, let's see. Okay, let's see. Mm. We're gonna need to take. Why isn't it going in there? Oh, because it's pulling out of this first. Hold on. Let me see. So you just want, let's say, so you only really need, like, a couple of them. At least three. Four if you're feeling like you kind of know what you're doing, but not really. Let me see. Okay, now I should have gotten... Okay, so I'm just going to do three. And I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to get yourself some more of these as well. Pretty much it's the same thing for each one. All you're going to be doing is typing in the value. Okay, let me see. I'll show you how to do cosmetics, because those are worth a lot. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to open up a cheat engine. So for me, I have to do a couple of extra steps. You can just open it up on your other monitor if you wanted to. Let's see. Come on. Open. Open, you son of a bitch. Okay, there you go. Okay, so look at cheat engine. You're going to open it. Yes. Now you're going to get this menu. All you're going to do is you're going to open up this little button right here. And you're going to scroll up until you see Dying Light Game EXE. You're going to click on that one. You're going to open it. Now you're going to come back in here. And you want to see anything that you have at least three or more. Generally it's good to do four. So I'll show you how to clone the cosmetics. So you're going to go in here and you're going to click on five. So open up Cheat Engine. Now all you're going to do is you're going to type in 5 and then enter. Just hit enter and that's it. And it's going to load. It's going to give you all of these values right here. Now what you can do is you're going to go back, drop 1, so X and enter. Now you're going to go back and you're going to type in 4. Once you have all of these, see how it narrowed down the list? Now you're going to come back in here. X and enter again, so you narrow it down even more. That's why it's good to have at least four, five. And then now type in three, and it's going to give you this last value. Right click, change value of selected addresses, 
and I wouldn't do anything more than 10,000 just because that's what I know that works and then you're gonna enter here just click back to your thing press I Oops. and then press I again and you have 10,000 now go directly into your stash and take all of them and press C you're gonna store all of them in there that way you know for sure that they're in there and then if you wanted to take them out you just scroll down to where you see them and then just take out you know a certain number whatever you want so it goes with any of these so you can do it with anything just make sure you directly put it in your thing and as soon as you're done cloning items go and go save the game somewhere so um, I don't know um, go lay down and change it to night and then back to day and then it will save your progress and so everything should be in here now these are the only ones I can't really clone I could probably do this one but I haven't tried it yet um, let's see uh, let's see let me show you how to do it here so let's do something that you know you actually need more of so let's say let's do these ones so these are what you need to increase your level by tons so all you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing except now since you're done with that first clone all you're going to do is put new scan every time you want to scan a new item you do new scan and so then type in that three enter you should get tons of values okay so now go back to your game drop and then go back now it's going to be two enter see how it narrowed all these down now you're going to come back enter drop another one go back type in one now you have all of these values so my suggestion to you is to actually get um, at least four so get four find four airdrops every time you get an airdrop it comes with two in each crate so just find two airdrops get it all save it in your inventory and then do this that way you know for sure it's gonna work um, but if sometimes if you don't have enough and I'll just show these look at this list and whatever one does not turn red is the one you can use so it's this one so what you're gonna do is right click change the value 10,000 is plenty. All, that's pretty much all you need for this to work. So you can level up all the way. And so now you should go back, exit your inventory, go back into your inventory, and you should have. Yep, see? And then you know what to do after that. So go directly into your stash and transfer those. just into your stash that way you know it's there for sure and then you can pick up these extra two if you wanted to and then there you go and then you should still have over ten thousand in there and that will help you to level up so you, when you want to go to like the tower go to the tower go to your stash get your stash go downstairs to the quartermaster and sell them all there and then you'll be able to level up your survival level and then in order to get more money just do the same thing for like coffee and let me see and if you want to do the med kits it's the same exact thing so just remember next time you want to do a cloning go to I could show you how to do it with weapons too actually so let's say five I'll take all okay so now you're gonna click on this go to cheat engine get it new scan you're gonna click the number amount of items five enter and then all those values come back here drop one go back four all these values still show up so that's why it's better to have more that way it really narrows it down to one or two and then change that to three and then it's going to be this one I'm going to do one thousand right. 
and for the for the arrows and stuff it, you're only going to be able to get a certain amount so like I think uh, like regular arrows you can do up to 10,000 that works just immediately go to your stash again and you'll see here now I have a thousand of these so now you're going to go back to your stash and put all of them in there and then now you'll have I'll show you just to prove over a thousand there you go and one thing I will point out do not pick these up before you transferred everything in your stash otherwise all you're gonna have is just those two that you dropped you're not gonna get the full thousand or whatever you decided to put as a number so make sure you go ahead and do that after the fact that you already cloned all those items and then so what you're gonna do is once you put it all in your stash go ahead and find a bed where you can sleep such as here six and a half hours later okay so now that you made it in the tower all you're going to do is you're gonna come directly to your stash or oh, whoops which is near the elevators just did a circle for no reason okay so once you get to your stash what you want to do is you go directly just go directly to it now you can you can pick up now you can pick up the anything you want that you cloned so and sell it for money and sell those for money you can do the coffee for money um, but take your 10,000 that you cloned or however much as many as you can press C all then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here go back downstairs to the quartermaster which is I'll show you now that it's saved see you're safe once you got into the tower so anyway so now yeah 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 shut up dude and then anytime now okay thank you now you're gonna go directly to the quartermaster so over here and then you're gonna say deliver drop you're gonna press F and then you'll get all of your um, skill points so you're gonna go back go to your skills and for this one you're gonna actually have like all of these able to all of these to um, actually deliver so you'll be able to fill in all this space which will then unlock this one which then you'll be able to upgrade see all these skill points up here too you'll start working on these so then you'll be able to do all of this So if you keep cloning it, you can actually see how your damage and stuff is going. So spend all these skill points and then etc. etc. Yeah, man. So there you go. All right. If you have any other questions, just let me know, bud.